Hey, it is 9.43 on the Saturday morning. Time now to imagine it and just imagine what Carl Nelson, the chief scientist at the Imagination Station, is imagining when he gets his hands on some stuff that glows and some fun beads. Yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to party <laughs> with polymers All today. All right, it's a polymer okay. party, everybody. Po polymers. <laughs> and you find polymers everywhere. And, you know, what a polymer is, is just a long chain molecule with a lot of repeating units. So this is a demonstration is, of what it might look like. Exactly. A model of what a polymer that has, say, 100 units might look like. Okay. okay the 100 beads here. Now, I brought with me a polymer that has tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of repeating units. Oh, wow. Okay, it's called polyethylene oxide, and you find it everywhere. You find it in shampoo, you find it in face lotion, hand lotion, toothpaste, ah. um, printer ink. Because those molecules are so long, when you get them next to one another, they can grab onto water and they'll slide past one another and they get very slippery. Okay? Okay. In fact, <laughs> this stuff um, is even used, you know, we were talking about Titanic, the exhibit that we're unloading this morning mm -hmm. at the Science Center. This stuff is used in wood preservation. You'll soak the wood that's been underwater for years. The polyethylene oxide will displace the water, and it's like a preservative for the wood to stabilize it. Oh, wow. Okay? But before we do that stuff, I've got another cool model here, right? I said tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of units. This is only 7,000. Oh, okay? wow. These molecules have a really interesting property, and it's really kind of cool. Watch the top of the beaker. I'm okay. going to pull the chain out, okay? 7,000 right. beads. Watch gotcha. the top. <laughs> okay, so it can actually self-siphon itself <laughs> out of the container. Wow. Because of the weight of the chain pulling it, or the weight of the molecule, it'll pull it right out. Molecular displacement. Why don't you try it? Just go ahead oh, and give that, it a tug. I, I would it a tug. This is like the ultimate slinky. Kind of. Hey. And as it gets started, Woo! is that not cool? So. We can actually do this with the real polymer, but don't, don't eat it. Don't, don't disturb it. That's really cool, right? <laughs> right? So, I mean, I don't know if this, this even works as well, right? Get a little, little dog hair popping out of there. It's so much fun. So the, <laughs> the idea here is that the polymer can actually siphon and move itself out of a container. So to make it more fun, I put some fluorescent dye inside the polymer so we can see it better. <laughs> Terrific. Okay? And so here, go ahead and take this in your other hand. All right. What we're going to do is get the polymer to move from one container to the other without us tipping the container upside down. Mm. Okay? So what we're not going to do is this. Right. We're just going to tip the container a little bit. So let me do it first. So you've got pink slime. We're going to tip it a little bit. <laughs> and look at the container. I'm not flipping it over, uh -huh. but it's pulling itself out of okay. the beaker. Right. Self-siphoning because of those long chain polymers. In fact, you turn it back around the other way. And I'm going to drop this big beaker, I think. Um, and it will self-siphon out of that one as well. So why don't you give it a try with your so green glowing So this is like the here. monster's lab. Yeah, it's all because that polymer is so, so long. It can, and see, you're tipping a little. I'm tipping. Yeah, I'm back tipping. it off a little bit. Flip, flip right. it over. Flip the all other right. way. Flip the other all way. All right. Turn it back the other way and just barely let it come out. Pull yourself out. And if you separate them really far apart, it works even better. Perfect. So. You know, <laughs> okay, you got it. That's perfect. Oh, okay. No, no, that's great. That's, oh, keep yeah, going. Yeah, right. Keep flipping it back and forth. So, you know, we do lots of stuff with polymers down at the Science Center. If you want to learn about the polymer that's in baby diapers or the polymer that makes Insta Snow, slime, self siphoning polymers, come down and check it out because we do Oop. lots of really cool stuff. And that's fine too. That's, <laughs> that's, that's kind of cool. Um, that's again, all the experimentation part. Polymer science. It's just really <laughs> cool how you can get it to siphon back and forth between one container to the other without tipping the container. So, uh, he slimed me. And we're right. probably going to overflow here, so we should probably stop. Thanks very All much, right. Carl. Hey, if you want to head down to the Imagination Station, we've got the times. We're going to put them on the screen for you. It's at One Discovery Way, downtown Toledo, Tuesday to Saturday, 10 to 5, Sunday, noon to 5. Thanks again. Titanic, the artifact exhibition, opens in just a couple of weeks. And on the 14th, and we're unloading it this morning. Excellent. Thanks very much, Carl. Sure. And there we're going to turn it over to Dave, who's going to slime you with sports. <laughs>